Hello everybody, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video we are going to be talking about a particular TikTok boy who has been garnering a lot of attention for this TikTok video that posted. So there is quite a few things inherently wrong with this video such as trying to make a bad boy aesthetic out of people's hurt, pain and deaths. So I went onto the video's comments and I had seen somebody say this. Ahahaha, funny that another video shows he smashed a window. Good to see that someone trying to use a protest as a photo shoot got called out. So then I was very curious as to where this video may have been and I seen that, that there was an account that was tagged under that comment. So that's when I go onto the account and I find this video right here. <laughs> What are you doing? You don't take me. For what? I got you breaking the window. Okay. I got you breaking the window. Go to the police. Why? I got you breaking. Why? Why? Why are you, you doing know? that? You're getting arrested. Why? You're getting arrested. For what? You're getting arrested. For I got you. I got you breaking. So in the video, the dude says, I got you breaking a window. And so this TikTok boy replied back with, okay. First of all, he made a video trying to have the bad boy aesthetic at a protest that should not have that happen there at all. I do not think it's appropriate whatsoever to be going to a protest to do photo shoots at and seeing him in the video where he like is handcuffed by the cops and he's smiling as if like ah oh, yes I'm getting arrested by the cops I'm such a bad boy these protests are not for people to go and have cool photo shoots at because you think that seeing a burning car or police or whatever you see there may be cool it's not cool whatsoever and I feel for everybody going to the protest and standing in solidarity you guys are amazing like seriously amazing that video wasn't even posted on his account by the way I actually went onto his account where he almost has 300,000 followers and he is addressing what is going on so take a look all right of course I'm gonna address that video the guy that filmed it actually followed and stalked me and my sister 10 minutes before he even turned that camera on. He said he was a police officer, then he turned his camera on, and then he said all these things that I clearly didn't do. Y'all can watch the video again, it's blank. If you listen, there's looting happening all around me. I couldn't hear a word he was saying, he caught me off guard. And then he turns his camera off and follows me and my sister until we get to our car. So if y'all want to believe a seven-year-old creep that is now being charged for harassing minors, go right ahead. All right, I've been getting a lot of these comments recently and I totally agree with him and understand where they're all coming from. I just think you're a little bit confused on what happens. I was basically a shield in the crowd and I got in a little scuffle with the police and they arrested me. And it turns out I was the first person to get arrested in Atlanta for protesting. So of course the photographers were gonna be all over that. And they found my Instagram and they sent all the pictures to me. But I had no idea I would get this clout or any of this because this isn't about me, this is about the BLM movement. And I think we should all put our phones down and actually go outside and protest and do something about this. Now in these two videos, I kind of understand where he's coming from with what he's saying. He cannot really control uh, the fact that people are taking photos, like really good shots of him and posting them. It just seem, it just still seems a little bit weird to me. Like I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't really know what to kind of specifically say about this entire situation so that's where i'm going to ask you guys the question of what are your thoughts and opinions about this situation that is happening at the moment hopefully he had good intentions when going to the protests hopefully it's true that you know photographers were there taking pictures of him and he didn't ask for that and they weren't paid or whatever but, but that's all we know for now thank you again guys so much for tuning into this youtube video today I love you all and I will see you guys in my next video.